Hello everyone, in this video I am going to show you guys how you can connect URLs to views in Android Studio. So once you click on those views, you will get redirected to those particular URLs. Here I have taken a text view, an image view and a button. So it will basically work like this. Once you click on the application, it will show you this thing. Now first of all, you will click on Twitter. It will redirect you to Twitter, which is a text view. Next is the button, which is Instagram. Once you click on it, it will ask you and it will redirect you to Instagram and the third thing is an image which is which is Spotify so once you click on it it will ask you and it will redirect you to Spotify now any of the URLs can work in this application so let's get ahead with this video my name is Samian Savant welcome to the channel Alright, so first of all, let's create a new project, empty activity, next, let's set a name, let's say follow me, enter, let it build the gradle, alright, so it's ready, now let's go to the XML file, hello world, we don't need this, now to get started with it, first of all, we'll create the UI, then we'll go to the coding part, now, before starting with the UI, we'll import the images first here inside the drawable so i have these two images i'll just drag it inside drawable hit ok now i have the spotify image for the image view and this is just a random image which i'll add up there okay now let's go to split i'll close this thing first of all i'll set the background to black hashtag 000000 done Alright, so first I'll add the random image which I set up here. So we'll go to the palette, image view, I'll drag it in here, select the image, hit OK, and let's resize it. Let's bring it up here, resize it like this, and yeah, this much is fine. So let's center it horizontally in parent and pin it from above. And below so in case if you don't know how to use constraint layout there's a video up here you can watch that now once we have taken this in next is a little text view to let's say say that like follow me on these platforms so let's keep it follow me on and a semicolon hit enter okay so the text is not showing up because both of the colors are black the background as well as the text so let's change the color of this text and write text color and let's set it to white f f f f f f and yeah it's visible now let's change the size of the text text size let's keep it 25 and let's align it right click center horizontally in parent let's drag it up a little bit and pin it from above as well as below now the basic two things are done. now we are going to need three views which is a text view a button and an image view okay so we'll insert all three of those and then we'll link them so first of all let's take a text view we'll just copy this one okay let's take this code itself copy it and paste it below now for, we, we are going to need three IDs because once we create all those three text views, we are going to need to access them inside the Java file, right? So each of them has to have a unique ID. So first of all, we'll keep the text view for Twitter. Okay. So Twitter, let's keep the ID Twitter and the text also Twitter. Then now we don't need all of this stuff. So let's remove it first. Okay. And now we're going to align Twitter. So right click, center horizontally in parent and drag it down here wherever you want to keep it. I'm going to keep it right here. I'll just pin it from above and below. And I'll also change the size to let's say 22. Okay, 22 is enough. Now next what we want is a button, right? So let's grab a button and put it here. Okay, buttons here. 
let's change its name to instagram also the id of the button will be instagram done now that instagram is here just uh, let's just align it right click center horizontally in parent let's drag it a little bit here and pin it from above and below done and the final thing is the image view which we need for spotify right so grab spotify hit ok just bring it here resize spotify i'll just keep it here right click center horizontally in parent and then pin it from above and below so we're almost done with like ui so let's make a few more changes to the ui let's go to project let's remove the action bar first of all okay so here we'll change the theme for this activity which will be android theme and let's select no action bar here okay and one more thing let's change the font so it looks good when we execute the code just copy and paste it down here here we'll have to type font family and here whatever font that we want so i'll just keep it sans serif okay so yeah the ui is ready now we'll go to the coding part first of all let's check whether we have given ids to all three of these so twitter has the id twitter instagram has id instagram spotify no yeah we missed this so spotify hit enter so all three of these have id now we'll go to the coding part let's close these two tabs first and yeah main activity Java. so to assign a url first of all we'll have to access all three of these right so first we'll declare it up here so text view now text was for twitter right so let's keep tweet object name. next is button right so button insta and last thing is image view which was for spotify right so let's just keep spot here okay now in here what we'll do is we'll access all three of these so tweet will be equal to find view by id my bad find view by id r dot id dot it was twitter right the id so twitter and a semicolon same thing for both of these will be equals to find view by id again r dot id dot Instagram and then semicolon and the last thing is Spotify right so spot will be equals to find view by ID r dot id dot Spotify and we're done now we can access all three of these here next thing we have to do is we have to assign a listener to all three of these so once we click on them a listener will get executed and it will direct you to that particular URL so first of all tweet dot set on click listener and in here new space view dot on click listener so it will give you all of this stuff now in here what we'll write is go to u capital rl go to url open braces open quotes and then semicolon now in here we are going to paste the url which we want to redirect so here twitter right so i'll paste my twitter profile here I have created a text file for that. So let's open it. See Twitter. I'll copy it and I'll paste it in here. Now this is showing a little error. So what we'll do is just click on it. Alt enter. Create method. Go to URL. Hit enter. And then go to main activity. Then so it has created a method down here. Let's deal with this later. Now we are going to need two more listeners here. Right. So I'll just copy this code. Go down paste go down paste now first of all insta right so we'll change the object name to insta and here we are going to need to change the url for insta so just copy this and paste it in here okay no sorry here paste okay wait a second there's no need for this slash in and yeah we pasted it and the last thing is spotify right so spot and the url for spotify let's just copy this thing we'll go back here and paste it here 
done so all the three listeners are also ready now the one last thing we have to do in this coding part is here inside the method we are going to deal with it right so uri space uri will be equals to okay it's given an error so just alt enter and will be done it will import that particular package up there next uri dot pass and inside this pass see this s string s will pass this and semicolon now the final line of code is start activity in here we'll write new intent hit on intent and in there we'll write intent dot action view comma u r i and we're done with the code now it's giving some error let's go to that particular error where is it class or interface unexpected so let's deal with that first see this one this is a extra brace so yeah the error is done now the code is ready to be executed now what will happen is once you run this code on your mobile phone if you click on any of these three views it will redirect you to that particular url so i'm going to run this on my mobile phone because all the applications are installed on my mobile phone so let's go there okay so as you can see here we have the application so let's click on it now first of all there's no action bar here and second thing the font is sensitive now if you click on any of two of these nothing will happen no action will happen but these three are what we're here for right so first of all let's click on twitter it redirects to twitter it works second is instagram it will ask you whether you want to go to instagram hit on it let's see if it works and it does and finally spotify let's click on spotify the image it asks you let it load and we're here so all three of these work and we have successfully executed it so let's go back to the video all right guys so that's it for this video now if you find this video useful like the video it really helps with the algorithm share this with your friends so they can also execute all of this stuff and consider subscribing to the channel how to tech videos tech reviews coding vlogging gaming is all what happens on this channel so if that's your vibe hit that subscribe button also follow me on instagram twitter and spotify all the links are given in the description below and ladies and gentlemen that's it for this video thank you for watching this video bye bye